Hi, I'm Brian Jackson, the Editorial Director at IT World Canada, and I'm here at our Technicity event. We have Craig Neville Manning with us, the Head of Engineering at Sidewalk Labs. Welcome. Thank you very much. Great to be here. Yeah, and it's great to have you here for a few questions. I mean, the first thing I want to ask you is, why Toronto? You must have seen some real potential, some opportunity to bring something to this city that would have great benefit for the type of digital platform that you want to develop. So tell me about that. Well, firstly, Toronto is an amazing place in terms of its diversity. Uh, you know, the, num the number of people who you know, were born outside the country is kind of incredible. Um, but also the, the kind of technology prowess that's here, the entrepreneurism, the, the innovation that's here in Toronto. And then finally, Waterfront Toronto, which is a partner in this Quayside location, uh, invited folks from around the world to think about what could be done on the waterfront. And we find that waterfront location incredibly inviting as a place to start to reimagine cities from the ground up. And when we have this new digital layer on top of a city, we think about capturing all sorts of different data, uh, visual data, um, connective data through wireless devices, and who knows what else. So when you approach the question of data ownership, uh, how does that look in your view? I think there's a number of issues there. For example, privacy is paramount. Uh, we don't want to be capturing data that's, that's sensitive. Um, we want people to be in control of their data. That's, in, that's incredibly important. Uh, there's this idea that actually originated here in Toronto called privacy by design. Thinking about that right from the beginning of the design of a technology or a product means it kind of is all the way through. It's, hard, it's a hard thing to retrofit. And then governance itself, I think, is a discussion between ourselves and Waterfront Toronto and civic groups and the city. That's a, uh, that's a really interesting conversation that we're eager to have and figure out together essentially how that should work in terms of putting the, the benefit of the individuals in Toronto first. And you raise privacy by design there. So uh, I'm curious, have you engaged Anne Kavukian? Uh, in We're discussions? working directly with Anne, who's an expert, a, a world-renowned expert in this area, but based here in Toronto. Okay, interesting. And when I was looking over your plans for uh, the space that you're going to bring to Keyside, I noticed this idea of uh, changeable buildings, modular buildings that could transform from residential spaces into commercial spaces very quickly. So tell me more about that. How can you have buildings that transform? Um, so it's inspired actually by a relatively old idea. You know, in many places, uh, there were buildings originally built as warehouses uh, that over time were converted into uh, apartments, so residential, into offices, into retail. And it turns out that if you build buildings in a certain way, uh, they the, the builders of those warehouses didn't necessarily foresee that, um, but I think we can step back and say, what is it about those warehouses that makes them so flexible? And how could we take that idea even further? So I think it's designing the building so that they're not, not completely purpose-built for, for only one possible use. But then also we can use technology, we can use sensors, we can use, um, we can use even robots to make changing those spaces much easier and, and, and quicker. Um, so that as the, as the demand for different kinds of spaces changes over time, the buildings can, can adapt. In a way, it's thinking about a building a little bit more like software than just a, an inert piece of infrastructure. Okay, well, thank you so much for your answers today, Craig. You're welcome. Nice to talk to you. And again, I'm Brian Jackson for IT World Canada here at Technicity.